Uh, just before uh, 7 a.m. this morning at approximately uh, 6.53, units were called out on scene for a residential uh, apartment fire. Uh, units arrived on the scene at approximately uh, three minutes later, and uh, they encountered uh, heavy smoke flames coming from this middle apartment behind me. Um, flames were emitting from uh, first and second floor. Uh, crews uh, began to initiate a fire attack and do a primary search inside the structure. Uh, upon entering the structure, uh, they encountered uh, heavy smoke uh, banked down inside the apartment. And upon arrival, you know, it was heavy smoke banked down inside the street here. Uh, they got inside, made an attack on the fire, got above the fire, took some lines inside there, checked the uh, first and second floor, did a primary search. Uh, the apartment was occupied. Uh, the occupant was out prior to our arrival. Uh, we called additional units to uh, assist us with this fire, put some units up on the roof there to uh, get a hole inside, cut a hole inside the roof, contain the fire, hoping to contain the fire right there to the apartment and prevent it from spreading. We also had some additional units uh, go inside and check the adjacent apartments for uh, any occupants and uh, any uh, fire spreading down to those adjacent apartments. Uh, once the units uh, got inside there, uh, they found out that those uh, apartments weren't occupied at the time and there was some smoke damage to the adjacent apartments. Uh, it's approximately 16 units uh, down here uh, just behind me. We're probably going to have about uh, three apartment units at this time that's going to be affected. Uh, first apartment, as you know, we had uh, fire and smoke damage in there. And then the two adjacent apartments, uh, we're probably going to have some smoke damage inside there. Okay. Um, now, when uh, you guys arrived out here, I saw a lot of smoke pouring out of the building. But you guys had this fire pretty much under control kind of quickly. Yeah, uh, here again, we were able to uh, get a pretty good, re pretty quick response. Uh, got units on scene here real quick. As you notice, uh, winds gusting up a little bit, so that uh, was kind of pushing the smoke back down in the street, back down this way. And uh, here again, uh, like I said, you know, we had to open up the roof there to release some of that smoke and heat from inside there to assist the crews on the inside with uh, locating the fire and uh, assisting with the searches. Now everybody that was in this building has been evacuated at this time. Uh, aside from the three apartments that were you know, affected, how long do you think possibly it might be before these folks come out and turn their home? Um, we're thinking probably about another 20 minutes or so. We're going to be again letting uh, individuals back inside the apartments that were not affected. But uh, we just wanted to uh, check and ensure that uh, we didn't have any fire spread further down in uh, some of these in apartment units uh, that we had here. As you know, uh, when we came up, like I said, there was smoke emitting from some of the roof vents up there. So we got our crews up there to check not only up on the roof, but down in the adjacent apartments to ensure we didn't have any fire spread. Okay, uh, my last question, uh, the individual that lives in the apartment where the fire started, um, have you guys made contact with him? Is he aware of what's happened yet? Um, I personally have not made contact with that individual. Uh, our crews have, so um, once I get an opportunity to speak with the individual and the crews that did speak with him, I'll update you on that.